hey, this is Tiger, and I want to show you um, a really good tip on how I believe uh, you should be, or how you should actually um, organize your blog posts on your website, or how you should have them um, set up so you can navigate them better um, for the long term. Okay, think about it. Um, this is something that most people do um, and think is the only option. Okay, if you have created a new blog, or it doesn't matter. Okay, um, most people file their blog posts categories using the WordPress widget that comes along with WordPress. It's just a category widget. Okay, where is it? Uh, okay, so right here. Otherwise, your theme might have its own uh, special, uh, especially styled. Um, you know, or specifically styled category widget, okay? And a lot of times, you know, you just stick it on your sidebar somewhere, usually in the middle somewhere, and uh, it's going to look something like this, okay? You can use, um, let's change the setting here. Let's make it a drop down, okay? See how that looks. Okay, but that's one of the ways you can do it. So it's showing categories, which personally I think that looks really ugly. Otherwise, you can do this, you know, right? Whoa, that's even uglier, okay? This little thing that you never really pay attention to. And from my experience, when I go to a blog, I don't ever pay attention to this much. I mean, the sidebar is, in a way, it's kind of bittersweet. It's a great place to put things and advertise, but at the same thing, or at the same time, images, image links, I don't think get clicked on that much. Even like ads like this because you already know this is where the advertising goes okay so your categories kind of get lost in everything and you don't see it at the very top the the first area that you see on a website is the very top the menu bars and the links on your menu bars are usually the most respected uh, links that you're ever gonna click on okay because this takes you to the important stuff this takes you to content on your website that you want to read about okay and I think one of the biggest mistakes that people make is not using this to actually navigate to your blog posts and put your content categories on here. So I'm still building content on this website. I'm really putting an emphasis on my YouTube channel. But it was really important to me to make sure I have all the most important links I have here. And maximize drop-down menus, okay? Tiger Tools. These are affiliate links, Okay. These are literally affiliate links to products. And, um, you know, I, I might put some product or, or affiliate product promotional pages in place here at some point, but I haven't created those yet, okay? These are just straight up affiliate links to, uh, you know, my affiliate products. Like Optimize Press. Okay, see? So whatever, I'll just get out of that and um, you got to realize that when you start to build a lot of traffic to your website um, people do click on things passively to get to another page another website um, you know in random ways you never know what somebody's gonna click on you know they might be like oh dope G plus community what is that well that's my Google plus community they'll find out once once they get there uh, Tiger YouTube, you know, I'm just grinding my YouTube channel, okay? Affiliate links here, right? My e-course here. I really want to make sure these menu bars have a lot of information because these, I believe, are the areas that people tend to focus on the most and will click through the most. Stuff on the sidebar, even though it's, you know, you have images here, people don't click on this stuff as much, okay? Because we have radar systems, okay? We are we are programmed to uh, avoid things that look spammy, okay? Clicking on ads and stuff, but links up here are not as spammy, okay? This is where the most respected stuff is, okay? So what I did and what I've done on previous blogs, um, before I used to have a secondary menu bar like this one, uh, actually with my blog categories, but this is actually, actually being used for something else. So I can't do it that way, but what I'm saying is take advantage of your menu bars and actually put your content here, okay? These are categories. And these are actual blog posts, okay? Store your content 
on your menu bars, okay, at the top, because this is where your traffic is going to see your content the most, okay? Most people don't, I can guarantee it, most people don't go down here and click on this shit, okay? <laughs> Do you? <laughs> it's much more appealing if it's up here. So think of, about the long-term traffic benefits because every single page, just by every single page on your website has these menu bars. So, you know, people can literally get access to or navigate to every single blog post you've ever written. Check this out. A lot of people just put their blog role on their, as their home page. First of all, you want to put a product on your home page. Get a theme that has a product. If you're selling your own product, do this. If you're not, fine. But most websites are set up like this. This is your home page. And your blog posts are here. And a lot of people think that's enough. It's not enough. Because you know what? All this is doing is showing the most recent posts. And how often do you go to a website and you click on the recent posts, be like, eh, I don't want to search for more posts. You know, I don't want to click through every single one of these one, two, next page uh, buttons here and figure out, you know, uh, you know what I want to read next. What you need is a hierarchy like this. You have your categories here. You can even have more subcategories. So people can literally get access to every single piece that you've ever written rather than going to a boring archives page or coming down here, clicking on this unappealing little category drop-down bar um, or however you have it displayed. Do you see where I'm, where I'm going with this? You want more page views. You want people to keep coming back to your pages or to your website and keep reading more. And the key to get a uh, higher page views clearly is making it navigatable, okay? It's huge. Set up, go to your menu bars, okay? Go to your menu bars here, the menu bar uh, section, and set it up, okay? You have a primary and a secondary menu bar for most blog themes, WordPress themes, and all you need to do is set it up, right? Just put links to your blog posts, it, you know, filed under a hierarchy of your blog post categories, and that's it. Okay, peace out, Tiger.